Thank you guys for stopping in. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing. I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel. This is Bo with Designs by Bo. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put a solid background around images and text in Inkscape. And we're going to use this image that I found online to do this tutorial. Now you can do this with any image that you would like to use, but for demonstration purposes, we'll use this image. And what I'll do is I'll remove the background from the person and then keep, keep the person in the um, frame. And then we'll put a solid background around her. To start, we're going to go over and choose our Draw Bezier Curves and Straight Lines tool. You can click it on the, on the um, sidebar menu or wherever you have your, um, your icon menu at, or you can F6 to get it. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to do a quick trace um, around the person. And to get a quick trace, I'm just, you're just basically going to click and then move your cursor and let the line just follow the outline of whatever it is that you're trying to trace. And you have to bear with me because I have a crappy mouse that does not allow for me to move like my old mouse did. So I'll probably be replacing this because when you're doing a lot of designs, time is time is money and the time wasted you can be using to do other things. So, and if you guys, if you mess up anything, just hit Control Z to go back. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to move forward. I'm not going to make this perfect, but I'll get it um, pretty good. And the trick to getting a perfect outline, guys, is to zoom in as tight as you can into the image and then make your place your nodes and do your tracing. That way when you zoom out, there'll be uh, many, many little dots. I'm kind of messing her hair up and her head. She probably looks like an alien when I get through, but don't mind that it's totally by mistake it's to see is this crappy mouse um yeah but if you if you guys ever look at an image that you trace turn into a vector image if you notice it there's sometimes there's thousands or maybe hundreds at least nodes on a simple image or what looks like a simple image and those nodes is where all the fine detail of your shapes come into play. Now this can be time consuming. To do this, but it's not so bad. Some images, some things that you get, they already are already traced out. So all you have to simply do is just do the background for it. And to close this up, you just click on the last point where you started. And as you can see, um, you have this bounding box, the uh, dancing ants. They're not dancing right now, but you have that. That's um, showing the new um, trace that was created. And you can see the black line around her. Now, we're not going to, what we're going to do at this point is we have our model and then we have the um, image still in the background. So what we want to do now is remove this image. Now that we have the trace, we're going to, she's selected and then we're going to hold down shift 
and then click on um, somewhere in the image outside of this bounding box. And you'll see that both the image and the trace are selected. With those both selected, you're going to right click and then go to where it says set clip almost at the very bottom. And you click that and this will remove the background. Now you have no background on this image, but if you guys look at it now, you, it looks as though there's no background. So you have to save it as a, um, as a JPEG or a PNG, some, some type of image file in order to have it like this. And to show you that the background is still technically there, if I go up to path and then trace, trace bitmap, if you can see that, I'll bring this threshold down a little bit. You can see that in my live preview that all of the all of that information is still in the photo. So it looks as though it's gone, but it's actually still there. But what it does is hide it to a point where you can then save the image. So at this point, what we'll do is we're going to export the image. So what we need is this box, the export area, export PNG image. Um, and you can get this by hitting shift control E or going up to file, going down to export PNG image. And this, this box will pop up. Um, So from here, we make sure that our image is selected. And if it's not selected, then you just click on the image. And then we're going to go, make sure up here where it says export area, make sure you have it on selection so that it saves just what you've selected. And then we're going to go to where it says export as, uh, right under file name, and we're going to click that. And then we'll just export this as let's say we're just going to export this as lady and if you look below that it says png so we're exporting exporting this as a png which is an image file and we're going to hit save and then we're going to come down to where it says export with the green check mark and we click on that and now this has been saved to verify that it's been saved we hit to go back up here to the export and you can see in your folder that you're saving it as um, the ladies there and that's the image file you can just cancel that out now at this point what we want to do now we want to um, import now the image file that we just saved so we're, I'm just going to move this one to the side we're not going to get rid of it because this is our main image and to put our trace around, we're going to bring our image that we just created, the PNG file. So then to do that, what you need to do is import that file. So you hit file, click on import, and then in your folder, there's lady. So I double click on her, and there's the lady. Now, since we made a new file, I'll just move the canvas a little bit. Since we made a new file now, this is an image file and it's no background on this image. And for the, to get what we need, we just simply go to path, trace bitmap. And now you can see there's uh, the white area around her. And for what we need, we need brightness cut off. And then we're going to raise the threshold until we get the silhouette without it going all the way black. Usually around a thousand or close, it, it, it the whole image will black out. So this is what we need, right? I just go down a step just below the whole image backing out. That gives you the most detail. So you see that, and then to see this, you just go down here and click Live Preview, and then click OK. And if you see on your uh, palette, on your canvas the trace just popped up and then I usually just at this point I usually just hit the X on these and just close that out now you have your trace 
And what you do is this, you can just move this over and this image, you no longer need this image because that white background will keep you from seeing this. And if you can, if to, to show that this will be in the way, you just click on, since she's selected, just go over here to where it says ray selection, one step, or you can raise it all the way to the top. If you raise this above her, see how it blocks her out? So at this point, what we can do is just simply select both of these. And then I usually just go to my alignment, which is shift control A, align and distribute objects. Click on that. If I click that right. Oh, it's on the sidebar for me. And then I usually have last selected and then hit center to vertical axis, center to horizontal axis. And now you can see the bounding box. Now, the easy way to get the bounding box to, to get the, uh, the shadow around is to hit control and then the uh, parentheses the right parenthesis, the end parenthesis, which is uh, zero on your keyboard, either nine or zero. Nine will um, make it smaller and zero will make it bigger. And as you can see, you just click that and instantly you have your image with the background around it. And you can do this for text as well as an image. It works, it works just the same for text and images, but this is the easy way to do it guys. So, and then what you want to do is make sure you select both of them. You can just draw a box around, tra click and drag a box around both of them. And then you simply just go back to your export and then you can just export this. You can click on export and then you can simply overwrite this person or you can do a I usually do a, a two next to it and then you save it and then export. And then I usually check it by hitting export again. And now you see you have both images and you could actually right click on this in windows and then hit preview and then you'll get a big version of that. Sorry about that guys. And you can actually zoom in to see but that's it guys that's how you put um, solid background around it, images and text using Inkscape thank you guys for watching this tutorial check out my other tutorials I have a few in the archives I have a, a, a nice amount so far I'm building my channel I hope that you guys will subscribe to my videos Hope you're watching them all the way through. I put a lot of time and work into these and just hopefully you guys are getting something out of it. And I just want to say thank you for those people that have subscribed. I appreciate it a lot. And to my new subscribers, to those that choose to subscribe, I appreciate you just for watching and becoming part of the family. So I'll see you guys on the next one.